What's up guys and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we're playing Don't Starve once again. So where we had left off, we had found these nice little pieces to the overall Maxwell experiment. However, we haven't found the altar or anything of that nature yet. Waking up today, I actually took a day off, did a little bit of wood farming, did a little bit of walking. It took me quite a while to get back to our base camp from where we had left off last time. But our crops have shot up here, so I am going to eat them real fast and then we're going to re plant everything I think and then honestly I think our best plan is to continue going out and seeing what kind of trouble we can stir up so there are a few basic needs that I think we need to fulfill that we haven't touched on yet so before winter gets here a few things that I would very much like so we'll go through these I would like to have a koala fit trunk so that I can make a breezy vest I would also like to have a bit more of the beefalo wool so that we can make ourselves a winter hat Additionally, I'd like to have a nice stockpile of spider web. Yeah, spider web. That's what it was. I was trying to think. I was like, oh no, major brain fart. I was actually having a moment there where I couldn't think of what I needed. And just in time, we farmed out all those berries. So we're going to take these berries on the road with us, however. So let me get our game on right here. We'll get it nice and cooked up, and then we'll hit the road with these. I think I should probably make another log vest before we leave as well, because we are going to go out and do some spider fighting, and hopefully they don't break out that kung fu, that spider kung fu, as they're well known for in the these parts because that will lay us down so hopefully we don't run into that problem but let's refine ourselves some ropes I think we need two ropes to make a log vest and so there it is yep a log suit we'll get that ready to go because as you can see ours is kind of broken I'm gonna drop the hammer on the ground right now I did store our pig skins and all of the things of that nature for later we're gonna try and build ourselves a nice little pig city within close bounds but for now let's equip our tentacle spike and then we're gonna head out for adventure and so off we go. I think there was a nice little grouping over this way. Now there's no way of telling what level these little bastards are going to be. They could be quite well put together and if that's the case they have a crazy spider civilization going on. We could find ourselves in a very rough situation. However, I'm also going to pick some grass on the way. I feel like my, my grass supplies for whatever reason on this playthrough have been less than adequate. I always find myself scrounging through my pockets and finding nothing but lint and normally that lint might be useful if indeed we needed lint to survive but alas survival is not a lint dense kind of endeavor unfortunately so grass however is very nice and we can make more and more ropes out of those as we have been doing we are kind of wasting daylight here though so let me grab what I can and then we will head out to the east and hopefully we'll land in a somewhat combative spider grouping. I don't want to pull all of the nests at once, and I do wish that there would be a few that would be all by their lonesome, and there is one right there, but these are higher level spider cities or spider dens, so hopefully these ones will be lower level. Now when I step on these webs, it should bait some of the little ones out, so yeah, there we go. And so let's see if we can drag them back a tad. And then we're just going to stun lock them to death. And the other thing that I'd like to get is some of their glands. I've noticed that rubbing their glands all over ourselves does allow us to get healed. And so I would like to make some medicine, if at all possible. This warrior spider right here is going to be our preliminary concern, as he is capable of dishing out a little bit of pain. But he's also going to be necessary. He is going to flinch for us a tad when he comes out during the daylight. And I am glad to see that the developers put back in the flinch for the warrior spiders. They used to not flinch for a little while. And after getting used to spiders being somewhat flinchy and getting two for that, it's a little bit more difficult to go back to a situation in which they kind of stand their ground, they don't flinch, they take damage, and they just keep coming at you. We're also going to disperse some of this spider webbing, which is going to help us out in the future. It's going to make our life a little bit easier. Now, this is a horde of spiders, the likes of which I was not ready to deal with, so hopefully we can keep them out of our hair as best as possible, or at least kill off a few before deciding to close ranks with them once more. And we are going to take a little bit of damage right there, unfortunately. Alas. And there we go. And this is going to affect our sanity, so bear that in mind. For newer players checking out this Let's Play, sanity is going to decrease in tandem with you doing this sort of combat. So any type of mass warfare that you find yourself engaging in, and I like the way that they jiggle now to let you know that they're completely empty. Let me see if I can get rid of the remainder of this den. No eggs thus far. And so we could, if we wanted to, we could replace these spider dens as we destroy them. And oh god, there's so many. 
Alright, so let's see how many we can pick off here. I don't want to get myself into too much of a debacle, but god, there do seem to be a lot. There definitely seems to be a nice little horde of these spiders coming after us. Luckily, there's none of the warrior spiders in there. If we were faced with a crowd of this size of warrior spiders, I would be forced to admit that we were pretty much hosed, and there was no way that we were walking away from this specific debacle without getting ourselves just nastily torn up. And there's a gland right there. That's actually what we are looking for in addition. I don't know if those are going to rot on us. It's been a while since I've actually looted one. Good, they don't actually rot. So that's going to make my life a little bit easier. I don't think there's any reason to pick up this extra monster meat. For those of you that may not be in the know, it does harm you. It restores your hunger, but it's just no good for you. It actually has no benefits other than restoring hunger. It will get you into trouble if you eat too much. And feeding it to pigmen is the absolute worst idea ever. So don't even think about doing that. That will actually get you just up a proverbial excrement creek without any type of device with which to propel yourself. So you want to avoid that as well. And actually, we're doing pretty well right now. The goal of a 20 stack of this may actually be well within the reins. Yeah, it may, it may be within the confines of what we can accomplish here. Now, our beaten stick, our stick o whoop ass appears to be taking some damage, so it's not going to hold out for us much longer. I didn't have the foresight to bring along a spear, so unfortunately this may break off our daily adventure. And that puts me at what looks like 15 silk. God, I could use a few more. I really don't want to have to repeat this run back over here. But unfortunately, there are just so many spiders in this given domain, this spider kingdom, this noble domicile, this demesne. I actually, is that how you say that word? I actually have no clue. It's got a bunch of weird syllables. It's a French origin. I have no clue how to say that word. Hopefully, I said it properly and didn't just make myself look like an idiot. But what can you do? Sometimes you play the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes, if I were to quote oldies music. And I think this is as good a spot as any to pitch our camp for the night. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this grass. And I think, oh good, our sanity is suffering once more. So I think what I'll do here is we will sleep through this first evening just to make sure that our sanity does not fall off a cliff here. Let's make ourselves a rope. And there we go. The rope is crafted. And there's our straw roll. If you're ever in a situation where you need to get a little bit of your sanity back, never scoff never look down your nose at sleeping through the evening as you'll see it's actually going to restore our sanity quite nicely not as nicely as i might hope but it does come at the cost of reducing your overall hunger by a pretty substantial amount luckily we have a nice fistful of berries sitting around here and so i am going to kind of just consume those crazily just getting flecks of spittle and everything else all over myself let's head back over to the spider den and we're going to continue just butchering these little bastards because i would like to have a really cool supply of both healing items and that utilitarian silk before the day ends so let me go back over here and we're going to need some more rope like i said just going through rope like crazy it's just too useful there are a lot of things in this game that are going to require rope so you always want to bear that in mind and let's head back over and see what trouble we can get ourselves into now these dens over here it does make sense that there's so many more spiders coming at us just going crazy bro upside our heads unfortunately because these are higher level level two to level three spider dens and so actually the breadth of what we can accomplish here may have reached its expiration period. So let's actually let's let's go out on a limb here and let's see where this hole leads us. This slimy hole of wormy nastiness. The wormhole's like Arr! he's all offended. It's a sentient wormhole. Although that says all kinds of nasty things about what it and I are doing right now in a communal fashion. So never mind. We're not even gonna go down that course of reasoning. Ooh, carrots. So we're gonna grab some carrots as well. Maybe pick a flower or two because eating them is gonna give us health and picking them is gonna give us sanity. So that being taken care of. I may ditch my axe here in the interest, and also the tentacle spike, in the interest of perhaps, yeah, let me see what I, oh, I haven't prototyped it yet, unfortunately. I was going to say that while I was down here, I could use a bug net to gather up some of these critters that are floating around, but honestly, let's just turn this into an exploration period, because I think that's about all we're going to have to get done today, and one of the big things that is the focus of the game is finding all the pieces of the Maxwell portal, or the, I forget what they called it, they called it the Potay teleportation. I forget. It's got a specific name, and I forget what they've named it, but it does have a specific name. It's going to teleport us to a different realm, and is that the same touchstone 
that we have already interacted with. I believe indeed it is, so we don't have to worry about that. Additionally, I'd like to get myself some reeds, so we need to keep our eye out for actually, oh god, I wasn't paying attention, and that's what happens, guys. You gotta pay attention while you're wandering around. It's easy to get yourself into trouble, and actually, this is a good opportunity to sow some discord. Now, this tentacle right here, there's no negative way that this can end for us. These spiders will either kill this tentacle, or they will themselves be killed by it. If they're killed by it, we will swoop over here, wipe this out, get a bit more more silk and also some more glands as I can tell and if they kill off this tentacle it's gonna put us in a good spot oh they killed off the tentacle to grab a tentacle spike and get ourselves locked and loaded for the foreseeable future so let's kill off that spider as well we're gonna stand our ground with this Braveheart esque William Wallace type spider right here he's got his war paint on but it doesn't intimidate me like he thinks it will while we're standing here I'm gonna keep an eye out though there was a separate tentacle down and to there it is right there so we're gonna keep an eye on that because he is still lined up to do substantial damage to us, and that's something that I would prefer to avoid. I don't want to put myself in the situation of having to use up all of these very useful glands that we've collected while we run around. I am going to be careful. We are running out of log suit here, but I wanted to look for some reeds before we headed back to camp, or at least find some of those useful little bits and bobs for our teleporter so we can check out the challenge or the adventure mode, because that is the second half of the game that I think so many people neglect and don't actually try out. So I would like to be working towards that end, if nothing else, during the course of this playthrough. And it looks like we've pretty much run out of terrain here. There's a little bit more right there. I don't know if we can bait out some spiders here. And it looks like they've increased the stacking limit of the silk, which is pretty good too. That was something that I always had a problem with in the past. I was never able to stack silk as high as I would very much like to. So let's take a swoop through the swamp here. We're going to go through this marshy area. Oh god, and we just got hit with a major combo. That one's going to put us through the ringer. We may actually find ourselves a as a casualty. Oh god, and that's even worse. So if we get ourselves struck by lightning right now, we are going to be in a very, very rough patch. So let's keep moving as we go towards the evening, and hopefully we can keep from getting ourselves smacked. Now if hounds show up at any point during this debacle, during this event we are going to get ourselves into a lot of trouble now let me eat some carrots here we do have a touchstone so bear that in mind we do have a touchstone that is securing our life force but i may have misplanned this whole adventure a little bit god that actually had me sitting on edge there for just a moment i think we've got a fistful of critters at this point and no real way to sustain ourselves unfortunately so Let's pick some flowers and see if we can get some desperation health out of this whole thing. That'll also keep our sanity a little bit higher, which we are losing due to the fact that we're just standing out in the rain like an emo kid. So we've got some berries there. We've got another carrot. We are going to be in the rough situation of having to feed ourselves tonight. So while our hunger is absolutely full, the nighttime is going to be a little bit longer, which definitely begs the fact that we are going to need a cogent question of the evening let's get a little bit more health restored that's got us back up to 20 but that's still not enough to survive any type of substantial hit from lightning or anything of that nature so it would definitely be an act of god if indeed it did happen but we can really hope that it doesn't and we're losing sanity like crazy due to the fact that we're just standing out in the rain so that's unfortunate as well we do have a nice supply of logs which i think will get us through the night even though it's raining we can sit next to the fire and it can be kind of a soaky soggy mess we're only getting one health back for each one of those we eat maybe some kind of fraction actually because we just landed on 25 even though we were on 20 just a moment ago and so let's pitch our tent for the evening or not our tent we are going to ooh, stale petals I will eat these for a little boost in our stamina and a little boost in our health before nighttime drops so our question of the evening let's talk about I I would like to get to know you guys better but this first question is going to be more on my end because I have had requests for people being like well tell us about yourself splattercat like so my question of the evening is going to be your first memory. If you think back as hard as you can, this has always been a little bit of life that has always fascinated me. Different people seem to be able to look further back into their lives, and my earliest memory is I distinctly remember being in a crib-like structure at the old house that I used to live at with my parents when we were like two years old, and I remember climbing out of it and sitting on the floor, and I remember not being able to read, but finding a picture book and just looking at it, 
And that's a weird thing. Did you guys ever think back on what it was like before you could read? That's a really weird kind of thing to think about because if you really give it some thought, it would just be symbols to you, right? And so that puts you in the strange situation of you can't go back and imagine what that might be like, aside from maybe reading Cyrillic or something of that nature, that would be the only way to emulate the experience. So anyways, down in the comments, let me know what your earliest memory is. I know that's a little bit of a personal one, and I won't blame you if you don't respond to the question, but it was the best thing that I could come to mind with at the moment. Now our health is a little dodgy. Our health is definitely dodgy at the moment, which leads me to believe that I may want to retreat back to our to our hangout up here in the north, but that's quite a walk to make up the remainder of this episode, so I may just tread softly. We'll keep looking around for other bits and bobs of the Maxwell portal and see if we can keep ourselves out of trouble for the remainder of our journey. And fire, don't you go out on me. If you go out on me right now and Charlie decides to show up, that will be harrowing. So I'd like to avoid that in any cost. We have made it to day 19, and we're about to break day 20, which means winter could drop on us at any moment after day 20. So I think in between episodes, I'll probably go about shaving some beefaloes and getting myself taken care of in that regard. I don't think that I have enough rope left to make another log vest, nor do I have the logs required. I don't think. Let me take a look, though. We can make a grass suit. Well, if we get a little bit more grass, we can make ourselves another log suit and then see if we can fight with a koala but our health is sketchy enough at the moment to where I think I'm probably just going to avoid that, so let's just keep moving and see what we can find. I am going to pick as many flowers as possible, though, because they are slowly ticking back our health, and I realize this is not the most efficient way to get our health back. In fact, the best way to do it would probably be eating, but we seem to have devoured all the food that we had on hand so alas that's not even an option that's not even something that we could face ourselves with so we're just going to be out here in the wilderness starving like crazy pulling a les stroud and just being miserable having crazy ketone headaches just shaking liberally and it looks like we've come across another of our badlands biomes down here let's take a brief moment and let's pan back and forth a tad or at least zigzag serpentine serpentine wx78 and see if we can land ourselves any useful objects from this little area, but it looks like it's going to be brief. It's not going to take up a majority of our time, so that's fine. That's all well and good. I am going to take the opportunity to grab a bit more grass because I may need to defend myself from some hounds on the way back to camp. I did get attacked off camera during that one day period in which I was gathering logs and things of that nature, so I think we have ourselves a bit spaced out before it happens again. So I'm not going to panic about it. Oh, that could be a problem right there, though. If that turned into a spider queen, once these hit a certain ranking, they actually become very, very dangerous. And a spider queen is something that we cannot sink right now. It's not even something that's going to be an option. If a spider queen were to show up right now, I would just pee my robot self, which would lead to all kinds of oxidation, assuming we're made out of metal. And I think we've already had this conversation, so I'm not even going to go there. And it also begs the question whether the robot himself could actually urinate. If he actually has some kind of refuse that he deposits as a result, I'm going to assume that he just farts out exhaust or something of that nature. That's one of my favorite Futurama episodes, when Bender actually moves the planet with the power of his fart. <laughs> I always felt like that was a pretty hilarious episode. We got some more berries up here. The barriers are good for getting our health back, so I suppose we'll do that. We'll continue just removing all the flowers from this area as well. Every little bit of point of health that we can get back. What in the hell is that? I'm a little... It looks like a blender. It looks like a crazy margarita blender. And I am... Oh, God. It's just killer bees? Africanized bees? Oh, I could have... Yeah, I could have shift-clicked. A beautiful example of efficiency. So that's a killer beehive. I don't really know what the use is for that just yet. So I'll have to do a little bit of research on the side to figure that out. But we are just going to run from them for now. It looks like it... Mar they look like little margarita blenders. They're making me thirsty. And also... A little bit thirsty for the sauce, unfortunately. Margaritas are one of my favorite drinks. I love margaritas. Living in California and also spending a little bit of time down by the border, margaritas are one of those finer things in life that on a summer afternoon, a nice chilled margarita, whether blended or just mixed, either way is just fantastic. But that being said, what in the hell is... Oh, there's another evil flower. So it looks like... Oh, what is this? Hello. You're about to step into a long, arduous journey to find Maxwell. You will need to survive five worlds, each randomly generated to present a new challenge. Should you die, you start back at this portal but lose all progress on your journey. Are you ready? I'm going to say nay for now. Oh, that is downright threatening. 
I actually don't like the look of that at all. So, I think I'll break off the episode here. That is... He is not much of a conversationalist. He is quite the inventor, though. All things considered, what we've seen on this journey has been slightly terrifying. Is it going to mark that on my overall map? Okay, good. So, I think this is probably a good spot to break off this episode. We did make some progress, we did find some things, and we've also got some objects that are going to help us once winter comes around. That being the case, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle once again to play Clay Entertainment's fantastic Don't starve. So I will see you guys next time, and I would urge you to take care out there, everybody. That's a little foreboding, isn't it? Ah, well, I'll see you guys next time.